Moving on, the Clemson Tigers. And, you know, they are favored in every game thus far. Uh, they are... SP Plus has got them going 11-1. and one. FPI has got them going 12-1. and one. FPI includes the conference championship game. The reason why they have these is... Or that loss on there for them is because once you add up all the projected uh, percentage points that they could lose a game, eventually... Out of 12 games, you'll get to one, right? Like, if it's 0.08% that you lose a game, you start adding that up. Eventually, you're going to lose a game. Yeah. The win total is 11.5. To go over is plus 110. To go under is minus 140. So, they think it's more likely that they drop a game somewhere. And under Dabo, they've they've tended to do that every now and then, right? Whether it's to Syracuse or Pitt at home or whatever, right? And this year, they open up with Georgia. And Georgia's coin flip game. Like, it's a neutral site. It's in Charlotte, which will be much more Clemson heavy. But still, Georgia fans travel. And it's neutral site, so you're going to get 50-50 tickets. Um, Georgia's going to be good. Like, is there a chance they could absolutely lose that game? Sure. Yes. They could also win it. And if they do win it, like, can we find, like, a road trip to Pitt? Can we get a NC State? Can Boston College show up? Probably not. Um, But I think there's still a chance. Like, DJ Uyangalele, uh, it, it, like he played well last year, filling in for Trevor Lawrence. Uh, Justin Ross is back. Like they got plenty of playmakers. I think the defense should be a, absolutely absurd, especially on the defensive line. Like Venables has always fielded great defenses there, uh, and this schedule is what a joke. Like what a joke. Yeah, is this outside schedule? of Georgia, there's a world where they don't play another ranked team the entire year. It's it's really interesting. And if they get a ranked game, we looked at this and we talked about this before we went live. It's all because of bullshit. It's all because the rankers will artificially rank Boston College, who we just talked about, if they're three and one or four and zero, oh, which is what they should be three and one at least going into this game, giving them a ranking just so they can say, well, they did play two ranked teams. Yes. Like in that, it, that's the best. When thing you'll I like Boston College, you like Boston College. We both agree they don't deserve to be ranked, even if they go four and zero. No, to start the season, looking at that schedule. I mean, I just I, to close out the schedule. Like after their bye week, like they got at NC State and Boston College in the first five weeks. Two of the tough season. games, but then they've got at Syracuse, at Pitt, Florida State, at Louisville, UConn, Wake Forest, at South Carolina. Like this is. Like they're the the, a, the AAC schedule. Everybody's AAC schedule is tougher than this. Like yes, it's, it's ridiculous. So, uh, just ridiculous. So I'm I'm gonna go under the eleven and a half. Uh, could could they absolutely go twelve and zero? Yes, a hundred percent. But I think I think the odds are in my favor here that they lose a game. They somewhere. slip up somewhere. I mean, if 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 uh, DJ gets hurt at quarterback, they got nobody behind him at quarterback. Like their their backup quarterback got hurt in spring. They they got nobody. So, you know. Like that that's one big thing. Like not that I'm wishing for an injury or no, anything, but, but like it's not you're wishing for it, but it's what are the odds? for it. It's part of it. Yeah. I mean, Trevor went out for what, two games last year? Like, you never know with these things. It's a fickle game. Fickle game. All right, so we're are we both going under? Yes. Under eleven and a half. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.